to Ken's Ken's TV. I have not posted in a while, but I'm here with my sister and we got another snack crate. I am so excited to find out where this came from because, man, I've been ready for some snack crates again. So, without further ado, let's get this going. Ooh, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. All right. Nice. I mean, personally, I've never been there, but it kind of looks, oh, that looks cool. Can we go to Hong Kong one day? <laughs> That's a vacation. <gasps> Ooh, okay. I really want this chicken that they have in the picture. But our first thing, oh, we're starting off spicy. Good thing I brought some milk instead of my water because that will help. Hell's Potato Chips. That's what it's called. Hell's Potato Chips and sp super spicy flavor and that's the only thing that's in English on this entire thing. Oh, it's a whole... Ooh. Oh. Ew. Okay. Well, it's uh, it's going to be very spicy. Oh, I do not like spicy. You might like this spicy. That's just straight up smells like the one kid challenge, but it won't be as bad. It, like, <clears throat> gross. I'm only gonna give you a little bit because I don't know how crazy it is. Give her a whole chip. Give her a whole chip. spicy. I'm just saying. <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> Kenzie. Okay, well that wasn't that pleasant, um, but ha. the drink. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, that was a spicy way to start the video, but taking our way away from that. What did it taste like? It tasted like um. Hot. Yeah, it was like, like flaming hot Cheetos. Kind of like a flaming hot Cheeto. Um. Kind of like that, but it was more of like the potato chips place. Basically, it does taste like Hell's potato chips. They 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 said it okay. <laughs> so we got these little things that'll make our day a little better. We got these marshmallows, and look how cute they are! Oh my gosh! I am so excited to try these. Oh, they're so soft. I feel like I'm touching a cloud. That uh, chocolate in them. Oh my god. Mmm. That's so good. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll put it on the inside. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so sweet. And it's so fluffy. Wow, how many of them are in there? There's a total of four. They wow. have one, I have one, and there's two extras. Those won't last a while. <laughs> Those are so good. Those are not gonna last a while. We got these called the Roller Coaster Extreme Barbecue Flavor. Oh and then we got our drink in here. Oh, it's a Pepsi. Ugh. I don't like, I don't like Pepsi. Pep Pepsi. Don't judge me. I don't like Pepsi, I don't like Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, anything like that. This looks like something else we've seen on the, the channel before. These like little ring chips. Oh yeah, I remember seeing these. They Did taste you like do a uh, Young Box from Hong Kong? Yeah. I can't even remember. I don't think it was from Hong Kong. I've never okay. heard of that before. But these chips remind me a lot of the other ring ones. Mmm. Mm. Really good. Spicy. And we got these. Yeah, those are very barbecuey, very crunchy, very crispy. It's very nice. I like it a lot, actually. And then we got these, which has like this popcorn chicken thing on it. There's no English on it, so I don't really know. Maybe the description. But we got that. See, yeah. 
Um, these are these crispy fried rice cracker balls are coated with a slightly sweet and spicy seasoning, making them the perfect afternoon snack. The more spicy, Candy. the more angry I'm gonna get. What? Candy Neville. I was expecting this to be like any other thing, like, ooh, it's just a taint of spicy. I was expecting there to be like these cute little sweet treats or that chocolate puff thing again, but no. We got spicy chips. <laughs> there you go. Whoa, those are different. They're like, did you drink that whole thing? Mm-mm. Oh. So then we got, it's crispy. Kind of reminds me of a, like a par caramel popcorn. Can see. In a way. I'm just kind of getting those vibes. No, not falling for that one. <laughs> and then we got these. Which is gonna be a whole. Oh no, no we're really? having these first. I can't resist. Oh, they're like strawberries dipped in chocolate. Yes. Yes. I don't know exactly what they are, but I'm sure I'm going to love it. Mm. Pour out. Oh, they're so tiny. They're like little malt balls. chewy on the inside. Got like a hard milk chocolate on the outside. And then you get the soft chewy strawberry on the inside. And I love that. Mmm. Mmm, it's so good. Is it chewy like a starburst? Or kind not? of like a different chewy. It's kind of like you first bite it and it's like, is my teeth even going to get through it? And then it sinks in as if it's like it. melting. And then it's like gum. And it's just like all different kinds of chewy. Candy. The more you taste Look it. Look at the inside. Ooh, yeah. I think you got a good crack on the inside. Oh, well, they're not pink. Yeah, they're... Hmm. Oh, wait. That one's a different flavor. Or they're different... Wait, let me see that. I think it's supposed to just be strawberry. I don't know. But whatever that was, it made my day pass those spicy chips any time. And then, getting into more nice berryness, we got mixed berry flavored. You know what? I don't know what they are. They kind of look like sugar covered gumdrops from what I'm seeing. Looks cute though. Ooh, chocolate. Go to a sealable bag so we can just close it up. Smart. It is smart. Ooh. Yeah, they are like little sugary. Ooh, sugary gumdrops. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. The sweetness of like the sugar coating on them. And they have the tartness of the berry. And they're so sweet, but not too sweet. Mmm. Kind of has just a less chewiness of those on the inside. So they're super good. And since this one in a leaf says mixed berry flavor, I wonder if there's different flavors. I don't know. Got over here, like a Coca-Cola is what I'm getting here. Flavored little candies? I have no idea. Hold on. Ninja Gummy Cola. Not your average gummy. This unique candy has a semi hard shell surrounding a soft, sparkling cola flavored center. This ninja is all business when it comes to flavor. <laughs> when it comes to flavor, I mean, that, I mean that's a good thing. Means it's gonna be nice and flavorful. We get the goodness of it. There we go. I think this one's a resealable bag too. 
if I can just get my nail. Oh, I had it. There you go. Into it. Oh, that was not expecting them to be like this white thing. A like white cube. Looks like gum, kind of. <gasps> it feels like it. That is very good, good color ish. I'm trying to write it in half, but it's not working. How do you even. How do you chew that? Is it supposed to be hard? It says surrounding a soft, sparkling cola flavor. This isn't soft. My teeth have gotten through it once. Mmm. Very good for being Coca Cola, but. You know, a really weird, chewy texture. See, you like Coca-Cola. Well, not as to drink, but this is... If there was to be a perfect Coca-Cola candy, this would probably be it. Mmm. Tastes very good. Next. Hi, Chew. Speaking of chewiness. Hi, Chew. Never we got that. Hi, Chew, which looks like they're little, like, sticks of gum, I'm assuming. Open this. Yeah, but you've never seen it. I don't know. But it's on the package. Where are the scissors? No. I got them. Here, let me see if I can get this. <laughs> They're right there. Hmm? Oh, never mind. We got it. There we go. We, we can got get it. this. Boop. Got it. Narrow that down to a nice soft gum. I'm very excited for this. I've actually ran out of um, oh, just like gum that I keep around the house, so this will be nice. <gasps> okay. Are you gonna get this open today or? I mean, we'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe today, but probably next week. Here we go. And open this up. Perfect. They're like Ooh, they're more cubes. peachy than I was expecting. They're little cute nuggets. Oh. They kind of look like Starburst. Are they way harder oh. though? Oh. I didn't realize they were peach. I don't like peach flavored stuff, but it's not that bad. I think this is good. Okay. You like it? You like peach stuff. Okay. You know what? I'm okay with that. This is pretty good, not gonna lie. Is it supposed to be gum or is it more of a candy? Um, I'd say it's more of a gum. Where it's a candy that's so hard to chew, you can't get through it. You probably don't want to be seeing me chew this all day. So I will finish that after the video. For now, we'll put it over there. Now we got this, mini cream wafers. Ooh! Mm, that looks good. Really good. Ew. A little high chew. I've actually heard of them. Um, high, high chew, chew somewhere. I don't know where it was. Oh. Ooh, strawberry for sure. Ooh. Mm, good crunch. crunch. That's really good. Mm. It's so strawberry like and crispy, and it, the filling just melts in your mouth. It is Garden Cream Wafers. Open the door to flavor heaven with these light and fragrant vanilla wafers and bite into the smooth strawberry cream filling for a truly blissful experience. I've never heard that word being used before, blissful. I like it though. Mami! It's got like this little monster guy on it who I at first thought was, um, oh, what's his name? Cookie Monster, there you go. It's got a big red nose. And he looks to be eating whatever this is. Oh, it's um, it's ramen. <laughs> it's ramen. 
and I mean try. So call me a weirdo. But weirdo. Literally. Um, but now we moved to this, as you can see, because some of my older videos in the past with the young box things was at my old house. And there I think it was one time I was just walking around eating raw ramen. It was like apparently amazing to me, but this at least has flavor. Mmm. That's really good. And I love ramen. So I might make this at one point. That's really nice though. This is Mockest Crackers. Nice. Okay. I don't know what that is. Let's find out. A flaky, buttery malt cracker with a perfect stamp. This unique treat features a sweet layer of brulee sugar on top, giving Graham crackers a run for their money. Ooh. Mm. I was not expecting this to be a sweet thing, but apparently it is. Oh, I actually opened it without scissors. Yep. I'm amazing. Oof. <laughs> not an opening packaging, though. Oh, it's like. Mmm. Mmm. They're like a saltine cracker. Like sweet, caramelized, hardened sugar all over it. Mmm. That's really good. I think the only thing I really haven't liked in this was the spicy stuff. Because that was just. Eh. <laughs> Not my thing. Ooh. You gotta pull back. It's like the one you had last time. Keep going. Yep. Oh no. It just exploded all over the table. Oh. I try to be careful with it though. Oh my god, it's everywhere. Oh no. Might have to clean the tablecloth after this. But, okay, normally I don't like Pepsi, but this. And this is heaven. That's right actually now. pretty good right now. This is actually that's, heaven. That's actually good. I might drink that. Normally I'm not a Pepsi girl. I'm like, Pepsi, ew, gross, get it away. Is Can it I flavored with something? Said? I don't know. It has these things. You know what? Let's find out. Our Snack Rate Plus. Pepsi. Os Mantas? I hope I pronounced that right. The first Pepsi ever developed exclusively for the Chinese market. This tasty cola draws inspiration from the native flowering Osmanthus plant. So there's an Osmanthus plant flowering. that they use to flavor this. It does kind of taste, honestly, like it came straight out of a nature, like a flower blossom. But that's pretty good. And I believe that is our last thing, but... Out of all this, I'm pretty sure apart from the spicy chips, this was all amazing. So, thank you for watching. And I also like these a lot. These were one of my favorite things. And while I may be more open to Pepsi now, that's not the only good thing. The good thing is that I will be back for the next episode. So, if you did enjoy this episode, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Bye!